Today, we're gonna to replace the engine coolant temp sensor on this 2010 Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine. Now you can see where the coolant temp sensor is located here on the driver's side of the engine, kind of below the upper intake manifold here. Now it's very important to do this on a cool engine. We don't want any heat in this thing, otherwise the system's gonna be pressurized here. So we wanna minimize the coolant loss, but we also wanna be safe. And so we gotta make sure that uh, it's not pressurized and not hot. So first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, get rid of this trim cover here. Gives me a little more access and I can already reach my hand in here. Simply squeeze the connector and release that and get that out of the way. And then I'm gonna use my 17 millimeter end wrench. Now if we wanna use a socket, we could, but we're gonna have to remove the upper intake. So if you're going in for any other work, that would be a simpler, maybe safer way of doing it. But we can do it with an end wrench here. So let me give you a close-up shot of where the sensor is located and zoom back out and get some of the work done. To remove this cover, simply use a flat blade screwdriver and give it a quarter twist and kind of set that out of the way. Opens things up a little bit for us. So we're going to Use some caution here as we break this loose. I'm gonna get on it as straight as I can so we don't actually twist and crack it off here. And you see once I break it loose, this is actually just sealed with an O-ring and our new unit comes with a new O-ring. And so once I get that loose, I'm gonna have my new one ready in my other hand and I'll thread the old one out. And very quickly, I'm going to swap over, make sure that my old O-ring came out with it. And now I can reinstall my new sensor. So I've got it thread down there as far as I can by hand. Now again, very carefully, I'm going to use my end wrench to tighten it down. Now we have to use caution here to make sure that we're on the square again, because if I slip off, I'm gonna crack the sensor and damage it. We don't want that to happen with our new sensor. So, got it nice and tight. I can put my electrical connector back on. I'm going to top off the coolant just in case we lost any there. I'll reinstall my cover here, clear any trouble codes, and bring the vehicle up to operating temperature to bleed out the cooling system, as well as ensure that our new coolant temp sensor is operating properly. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the ECT sensor on a Honda Accord with a 3.5 liter engine.